Hey what's up guys, I'm Guildarts and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be talking about weapons that should return in Halo Infinite. This is going to be episode 1 of my 3 part series of sandbox items to return in Halo Infinite. Episode 1 is going to be talking about weapons, episode 2 is going to be talking about vehicles, and episode 3 to wrap it all up is equipment. So. Today's video is going to be talking about weapons only. Kind of disclaimer on the video is that I won't be talking about variants of weapons. I will be talking about the base model itself. So campaign weapons like of uh, the variants like the Pursuit Hydra are not going to be in this video. Those weapons should be added to multiplayer no matter what. So now let's talk about the video. So the order of this video is going to be going off the weapon pads classifications of the weapons. The first weapon is going to be the assault weapon pad, which is pulse carbine and MA40 assault rifle, followed by sidearm, which is mangler, plasma pistol, and disruptor, then grenade, which is all grenades entirely, turrets, which use the weapon uh, the turret stand as their own spawn precision weapons like the br-75 and vk-78 commando smg which is the needler and sentinel beam shotgun bulldog and heat wave launcher ravager and hydra and sniper which is stalker rifle and shock rifle power weapon pads are power melee which is energy sword and gravity hammer power precision which is the s7 sniper and skewer and power launcher m41 spanker and the cinder shot so that is going to be the order of the video so these are going to be the assault weapon class is the first weapon is going to be the m739 saw which would be a handheld and weak, almost weaker version of the M247 turret on fragmentation. And I think this would be perfect for it. And I would change the model from a drum mag to a box mag to be make it look belt fed. And I think it would be perfect for it. And it would be using a battery. The next weapon is the blood fuel rifle. And this would be shooting a full olive beam of green and orange, and it would almost be very similar in model design to the focus rifle. The main difference is, is that it won't be able to be scoped in and has two metal bayonets at the end of it for a heavier melee damage. The next weapon is the plasma repeater for Melee Reach. I completely love this weapon and it should act the exact same way that the pulse carbine should have functioned at start because we all thought it would be a almost like a storm rifle instead of a burst but the main difference between this is that it's just full auto it's great at closer ranges basically it's the covenant version of an assault rifle the next one is the halo 5 suppressor it will act like it did in halo 5 and the last weapon is the leaked Proto MG, which I believe is almost like a handheld but weaker version of the scrap cannon from multiplayer. Now on to the sidearms. The first weapon is the Magnum. Going off the sidearm that has been leaked in a question that the Halo Infinite Marines have is most likely going to be the M6 H2 Magnum which is the Magnum used in Halo 5 Guardians. And going off of that model, it's most likely going to act like the Halo 5 Magnum. The next weapon is the Arc Charger, or as everyone else has known from the Target store uh, toy, is that it's called the Armament Blaster. I believe it's going to have an implosion effect like the cinder shot has when fully charged, almost like a plasma pistol. 
since this is a leaked forerunner weapon, I believe it's going to be almost like the bolt shot, but instead of a popping shotgun, it's almost like a pocket grenade. Going off of pocket grenades, we have the final sidearm weapon, the M363 Sticky Detonator from Halo 4. And this weapon is a huge fan favorite of Halo 4, and I would love this weapon to return. So here we have the return of the infusion slash incendiary grenades from Halo 3 and ODST that were called fire grenades, and I would love for these to return. And we also have the Halo 5 splinter grenades. These would be weapons that are perfect for area of effect, and I think these would be insanely useful in Halo Infinite. And then we have the M7. 057 flamethrower which is the halo 3 flamethrower but i would love to have them tweak it a little bit where it becomes first person like the combat evolved flamethrower i would love that option but i would prefer that i would be fine with either or but i would love the flamethrower to make a return now that we're on to the precision weapons the first one is going to be the M392 Bandit, which is the Reach DMR, but it's going to be different is because the reason why it's not going to be in the Sniper slash DMR category is because 3 for 3 has decided to remove the site. So, and also according to leaked voice lines, it is now a power weapon, which I think is off. It's too weak to be a power weapon. If they wanted a faster sniper, they could have just used the Flexfire S7 variant. And I think this would be a perfect weapon to balance a uh, competitive play because it's riddled with BR starts. And I think the, uh, the DMR weapon start would be the perfect balance between controller and mouse and keyboard. And our next weapon is the Carbine, and it looks like it's using a new model with a bigger sight and an energy sword the bayonet. Please leave a like on the video, and please consider subscribing or the demon on my walls will find a way out. I'm so close to halfway of reaching my goal of 50 subscribers, and you subscribing will be very helpful. And if you want to watch live content, follow me on my Twitch. I'm trying to get to 50 followers to become a Twitch affiliate. Link in description below. If I didn't put a weapon you want back in Halo Infinite, please leave a comment below and I will respawn to you on if that weapon should be added. Now with that out of the way, back to the video. Now on to the SMGs of Halo Infinite, the return of the M7 caseless SMG and it will be using the Halo 2 Anniversary Campaign model which is my favorite design of it. It will act similar to the SMG from Halo 5 is because I don't think we're going to get dual living returning. The next weapon is the Blood Hand which is used by the Banished and mainly Brutes, hence the name Brute Plasma Rifle, but it's now known as the Blood Hand. It will be firing in a burst similar to the Pulse Carbine, but it doesn't track and it's, close, it's a close range weapon. The next weapon is the Combat Evolved Plasma Rifle, having its stun effect return. And the last SMG is the Grinflect Spiker, which is the Brute Spiker that the Brutes would use in Halo 3 and Halo Reach, but it would be using its model from Halo Wars 2. The reason why I say this is because I'm not really a fan of Halo Infinite's banished designs, and I think they should return to their really sharp edges everything has a pointy end and can impale someone on it. I want them to return to their Halo Wars 2 banished aesthetic 
And I think this is the best weapon to do it. And, I, and our next weapon is the M45 shotgun. This is the shotgun model that was used in Halo Reach, Halo 4, and Halo 5. This is not the M90 shotgun used in Combat Evolved through Halo 3. This is the Reach shotgun, but going off the way Halo Infinite is going, it's most likely going to use the M45D instead of the M45E. The difference is the M45D is the shotgun used in Halo 4 through 5. The M45E is the one used in Halo Reach. Now that we're on to the launchers, the first one is going to be the ARC 920 Railgun. It will be act similar to the Halo 4 Railgun, not the Halo 5 one with the exception of ADSing. The next weapon is the M319 Gurdade Launcher, which is the Reach Gurdade Launcher. It would be perfect for Halo Infinite. Then we have the T25 GL Brute Shot. It would be this weapon is a fan favorite, and a lot of Halo 3 slash Halo 2 players would love this weapon to return, and also having it return its grenade jump function. The last launcher is going to be the Halo Reach Plasma Launcher. It would be almost superior to the uh, Hydra's lock-on function, where you hold it down and it would shoot four lock-on plasma grenades and it would be perfect. Now finishing off the standard weapon pads, we have the Sniper slash DMR weapons. First off, we have the Halo Reach Needle Rifle. The Needle Rifle would be perfect for this role, is because it has that super combined feel. It's almost as satisfying as getting a perfect headshot with the Shock Rifle. And next, we have the Halo 5 Light Rifle. The Halo 4 Light Rifle acted almost similar to the Battle Rifle. Then when you scoped in, it instead of firing three rounds, it would fire one like a DMR. But the Halo 5 one was just strictly a DMR. And just getting a perfect with this weapon and causing the disintegration of it would be amazing and so satisfying. Now, we are finally on to the power weapons. Starting off... We have the precision power weapons, the first one being the Halo 4 Binary Sniper Rifle. It'll act like it did in Halo 4 and not like how it functioned in Halo 5 because I wasn't really a big fan about it, is that it was per performer weapons were meant to be the perfect weapon of their category and not a lot of people liked it, but I think they people misunderstood how Halo 4 sandbox works is that forerunners were supposed to be the superior version of the human weapons and they nailed it and the Halo 4 binary rifle was the perfect sniper next off we have the Halo 2 beam rifle this would be perfect for Halo Infinite's and also, if they had found a way to have, add these new weapons to campaign, it, this would make legendary Jackal Snipers a nightmare again. And the final precision power weapon is the WAV M6 Grendel Gunnelene Non-Linear Rifle. But I would rework it instead of being the traditional Spartan laser, I would bring it to a almost a variant replacing it called the Hannibal laser. It'll function similar to the Hannibal Scorpion from Halo 5's and I think this would be a lot more terrifying than a red laser. It'll shift it from a red laser to a blue laser doing more damage and instead of like doing a point click because it's almost similar to the skewer now this would be amazing and also we have too many red lasers we have like 
a lot of stuff that's now red and when scoping in because the sniper is gold the skewer is red and when you would scope in with a skewer uh, spartan laser it would be red I think the best way to do it is by changing it to blue and I think it would fit perfectly now our final weapons of the video we have the power launchers which are basically the rocket launchers or basically your power weapon launchers that are precision based they are splash damage based first off we have the fuel rod which has been leaked and rumored to be using a battery instead of an ammo pack now. Then we have the return of my favorite weapon out of the 400 arsenal just behind the Halo 4 binary rifle is the Halo 4 incineration cannon. This weapon is it was my favorite and they ruined it in Halo 5. Just being able to fire a just a heat of hard light at something and it just erase it was so satisfying. And I would love it if it used uh, the cut Halo 4 content design for it. And it looks amazing for it and like this design works for Halo Infinite. Leave a comment below if you would love to see this design. And that's the end of the video. If you watch this all the way through, I really like you. And you are very supportive. And please leave a like and subscribe if you like this content. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!